five questions were asked from the subsection trigonometric equations in the january 2024 session of joint entrance examination main mathematics now the aim of this video is to discuss the solutions of these five questions on trigonometric equations in detail the first question is this question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 27th january 2024 in the second shift the given question is if 2 times tan square theta minus 5 secant theta is equal to 1 has exactly seven solutions in the interval closed interval 0 to n pi by 2 for the least value of n belongs to the set of natural numbers then sigma k is equal to 1 to n k by 2 power k is equal to we are given this trigonometric equation it is given this trigonometric equation has exactly seven solutions in this interval closed interval 0 to n pi by 2 for the least value of n belongs to n so we have to first of all find what is that least value of n belongs to n for which this trigonometric equation has exactly seven solutions in this closed interval so take that the least value of n belongs to n and find find the sum of this finite series sigma k is equal to 1 to n that n by of k by 2 power k and we are given four options let's now discuss the solution of the problem in detail so we have the given trigonometric equation so for tan square theta we write secant square theta minus 1 so that this equation becomes an equation in secant theta now writing secant square theta minus 1 for tan square theta and simplifying we get an equation in secant theta that is 2 secant square theta minus 5 secant theta minus 3 is equal to 0 right we find out the factorization for that the factors are 2 secant theta plus 1 multiplied by secant theta minus 3 is equal to 0 this will give rise to secant theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 comma 3 and we want cos theta so cos theta is equal to minus 2 comma 1 by 3 right now this will imply cos theta is equal to 1 by 3 we take it and we reject cos theta is equal to minus 2 because minus 1 is less than or equal to cos theta is less than or equal to 1 so it will not take the value minus 2 so therefore cos theta is equal to 1 by 3 agreed now now this is our cos theta curve this is our cos theta curve and uh, this one is uh, pi by 2 agree and uh, this is 3 pi by 2 5 pi by 2 7 pi by 2 9 pi by 2 11 pi by 2 this is 13 pi by 2 and we draw a line cos theta is equal to 1 by 3 that will be parallel to x axis this is the blue line is the blue line and now cos theta is equal to 1 by 3 will be taken once here next here 2 3 4 5 6 7 stop here and after that 13 pi by 2 is there is there so it has uh, this equation has exactly seven solutions in the interval 0 to n pi by 2 for the least value of n belongs to n the least value of n belongs to n is 13 right 
the least value of n belongs to n such that that quadratic equation has exactly seven solutions in this closed interval 0 to n pi by 2 is 30. So take that n is equal to 30 and write down this finite series. So required to find sigma k is equal to 1 to n k by 2 power k where n is equal to 30. We have to find out the sum of these finite series. Let s be the sum of this finite series sigma k is equal to 1 to 13 k by 2 power k expand this 1 by 2 plus 2 by 2 square plus 3 by 2 cube plus 4 by 2 to the power of 4 plus so on so forth when when k is equal to 13 13 by 2 to the power of 13. What we observe is the numerators are 1 2 3 4 etc 13 they are in arithmetic progression and they the denominators that means 1 by 2, 1 by 2 square, 1 by 2 cubes, 1 by 2 to the power of 4, so on and so forth. They are in the geometric progression. So such a kind of a, a progression is called arithmetico geometric progression. Ah, great. And uh, it, 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 in short, we call it as AGP. And we know how to, how to obtain the sum of such progression. That we do it in the next slide. So, a grid. We have S is this. It is in AGP. So, the procedure is that uh, you multiply throughout by 1 by 2, the common ratio. So, 1 by 2 times of S is equal to 1 by 2 times of S is equal to the first one. 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. 1 by 2 square. Right under 2 by 2 square. 1 by 2, 2 by 2 square. That is 2 by 2 cube. Right under 3 by 2 cube. 2 cube. So on and so forth. At the end, at the end, last but one term will be 12 by 2 to the power of 13. 12 by 2 to the power of 12 was in S and when you multiply by 1 by 2, it will be 12 by 2 to the power of 13, right under 13 by 2 to the power of 13 plus the last term is 13 by 2 to the power of 4 right outside. Now subtract. If you subtract S minus 1 by 2 S, that is 1 by 2 S and 1 by 2, 2 by 2 square minus 1 by 2 square, 1 by 2 square plus 3 by 2 cube minus 2 by 2 cube, that is 1 by 2 cube and so on so forth, it runs like that, right. And uh, 13 by 2, 2 to the power of 13, my, 2 to the power of 13 minus 12 by 2 to the power of 13 is 1 by 2 to the power of 13 minus, yes, this is minus, you are subtracting, 13 by 2 to the power of 14, right, right. Now, take 1 by 2 common. In the first 13 terms, so you will get in brackets 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square plus so on so forth 1 by 2 to the power of 12 minus 13 by 2 to the power of 14. Now look at uh, this uh, this series, this this finite series, finite series. This is uh, what is this? Is a is in a geometric progression, geometric series, finite geometric series, geometric progression. A is equal to 1, R is equal to 1 by 2 n is equal to 13 yes 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 n is equal to 13 and we know how to write uh, the sum of the uh, n terms of a geometric progression so we apply a into 1 minus r to the power of n by 1 minus r formula so 1 by 2 s is equal to 1 by 2 this 1 by 2 into a 1 minus r to the power of n that is 1 by 2 to the power of 13 by 1 minus r that is 1 minus 1 by 2 minus this 13 by 2 to the power of 14. Agreed. Now take the LCM here. So 2 to the power of 13 minus 1 by 2 to the power of 13 and uh, this 1 by 2, 1 by 2 cancels here. Right. So we want uh, yes. So multiply throughout by, yeah, through, throughout by 2. So yes is equal to 2 times of 2 to the power of 13 minus 1 by 2 to the power of 13 minus 13 by 2 to the power of 14. Agreed. Multiply 2 into 2 to the power of 13 minus 1 by 2 to the power of 13 minus 13 by 2 to the power of 13 because this 2 cancels one time here. So, agreed. Agreed. So now this will be this will be 2 into you take this inside 2 into 2 to the power of 13 2 to the power of 14 minus 2 into 1. 2 by 2 to the power of 13 minus 13 by 2 to the power of 13. The LCM is same 2 to the power of 13. Therefore, sum it up. Then you will get uh, then you will get 1 by 2 to the power of 13 
or multiplied by two to the power of fourteen minus two minus third twelve minus thirteen minus two minus thirteen is minus fifteen. So the sum of uh, that series is uh, one by two to the power of thirteen multiplied by two to the power of fourteen minus fifteen. Let's look at our options. Yes, that's the sum. Let's look at our options, and our answer appears again as option two. Therefore, the answer to this question is option two. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of this problem, and I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem. Let's now move to the next question, and this question has appeared in the. JEE main exam held on 29 January 2024 in the first shift. The given question is: If alpha minus pi by 2 less than alpha less than pi by 2 is a solution of 4 cos theta plus 5 sin theta is equal to 1, then the value of tan alpha is. We are given four options. I am sure that you remember this question. We have already done this question. And uh, I have done. I have made it uh, a, 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 an exclusive, you know, an independent uh, video on this, and published in YouTube, YouTube, so that you can see here. So, on in the YouTube, you can see with this, with the under this, under this one, and uh, with the title this one. So, I request you, if you have not seen this video. please go there and see this one now let's move to the next question this question has appeared in the jee main exam held on 29th january 2024 in the second shift the given question is the sum of the solutions x belongs to a set of real numbers of the equation 3 cos 2x plus cos q 2x by cos to the power of 6x minus sin to the power of 6x is equal to x cube minus x square plus 6 is. We are given four equation, four options. Agreed. Let's now discuss the solution of this problem in detail. Right. That's our question. Now, so let's take down the given equation. In this given equation, you have you have this part that is uh, the part that is on the left hand side consists of uh, trigonometric functions so take that expression first and uh, simplify that one so now take that expression on the left hand side which is uh, in terms of trigonometric functions and that is equal to in the numerator you take a cos 2x common and in the denominator we we write down A cube minus B cube formula, where A is cos square x and B is sin square x. Then you will have, will have A minus B cos square x minus sin square x into A square plus A B plus B square. So this is the one we got. For cos square x minus sin square x, we write cos two x. Agreed. For cos four, cos to the power of four x plus sin to the power of four x, write as a perfect square as cos square x plus sin square x. And adjust the terms. And adjust the terms. So the cos 2x is here. Cos square x plus sine square x whole square. Adjust the terms. Minus 2 cos square x sine square x plus cos square x sine square x. And cos 2x cos 2x cancels. Cos square x plus sine square x is 1. 1 minus 2 uh, cos square x sine square x plus cos square x sine square x is minus cos square x sine square x. So that will be one minus cos square x sine square x. For cos x sine x, cos x sine x, we have written sine two x by two whole square. Now taking the LCM and taking the LCM, taking care of the LCM, so we get this one. So in this, we write uh, sine square x is equal to one minus cos square x. If you write uh, sine square x, sine square two x is equal to one one minus cos square two x. The denominator will be, will become three plus cos square two x, and there is already a three plus cos cos square two x in the numerator that cancels, and you will get four. So that part consisting of trigonometric functions only is four. So the given equation now becomes 
फोर इज इक्वल टू फोर इज इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स सो दैट इज दैट विल इंप्लाई एक्स क्यूब माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज अ क्यूबिक इक्वेशन ना रिक्वायर टू फाइंड द सम ऑफ द रियल सोल्यूशन सम ऑफ द रियल सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्यूबिक इक्वेशन नाउ वी सी ए केयरफुल ऑब्जर्वेशन विल टेल यू एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन सेटिस्फाइज दिस इक्वेशन सो एक्स प्लस वन विल बी ए फैक्टर then the above equation will be x plus 1 into x square minus 2 x plus 2 is equal to 0 that means x is equal to minus 1 is a real root is a real root and what about the other two roots so for the other two roots we take this x square minus 2 x plus 2 is equal to 0 and let's look at its discriminant of this one b square minus 4ac which is negative therefore this quadratic equation has complex solutions now we are talking about uh, only real solutions therefore this cubic equation has only one real solution that namely minus 1 therefore the sum of the real solutions of the given equation given equation is minus 1 so uh, let's look at our options and our answer minus 1 appears against option 1 therefore the answer to this question is option option 1 that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem and i am sure that you have understood the solution of this one let's move to the next question this question has appeared in the jee main exam held on 30th january 2024 in the first shift the given question is if 2 sin cube x plus sin 2x cos x plus 4 sin x minus 4 is equal to 0 has exactly three solutions in the interval closed interval 0 to n pi by 2 n belongs to n the set of natural numbers then the roots of this equation x square plus nx plus n minus 3 is equal to 0 belongs to we are given four options and such a question we have already seen in this video J closed interval 0 to n pi by 2 what is the least value of n for which this has there it has the given equation has seven solutions but here it is the given equation has exactly three solutions that's the only difference therefore the question is almost a repeated question but with an extra part here right let's now move to the discussion of the solution of this problem right we have thus that that trigonometric equation right it's a cubic equation in sin x right now for sin 2x we write 2 sin x cos x then 2 sin x cos x multiplied by cos x that is 2 sin x cos square x in this place the remaining thing is as it is agreed for cos square x we write 1 minus sin square x so that the this equation completely in terms of sin x we write we write that one multiply multiply we'll get sin x minus sin x multiplied by sin square x minus sin cube x there is already a sin cube x here we get a minus sin cube x here so we get this one and uh, that will cancel that will cancel and they will get the, thus you will get 3 times sin x minus 2 is equal to 0 so sin x is equal to 2 by 3 so this uh, given equation is equivalent to this equation because we have written only equalities in all these things so the given equation has exactly three solutions in this means this equation has exactly three solutions so let's look to do the same thing as we have done in the earlier question so write down that sin x curve That's the sine x curve. So this is uh, your pi by two. This is five three pi by two. This is five pi by two. And we draw sine x is equal to two by three. The line parallel to x-axis. This is the blue line. This is the blue line. So you will get sine x is equal to two by three once, twice, thrice. That means these three solutions are there. So it has exactly three solutions in the interval zero to five pi by two. 
Therefore, the n value is 5. Therefore, the equation 1 has exactly three solutions in the interval, closed interval, 0 to n pi by 2, n belongs to n, for n is equal to 5, n is equal to 5. So take this, go to the given quadratic equation, substitute n is equal to 3. Then that equation becomes x square plus 5x plus 5 minus 3, that is 2, is equal to 0. So what is that we want? We want uh, then the roots of this equation. So what are the roots of this equation? Right, minus b plus r minus another square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Simplify, you will get minus 5 plus r minus under the square of square root of 17 by 2. Square root of 17 is little more than 4, and minus 5 plus root 17 is negative, and minus 5 minus root 17 is still negative, much more negative, much more. Both are negative, both are negative, right? And uh, let's look at our options. So these two are not integers, therefore option 1 is overruled. And uh, these two do not lie in this interval, so option 2 is overruled. And these two, both of them are negative, therefore the option 4 is overruled. Therefore it belongs to minus infinity to 0. Therefore, the answer to this question is option, option 3, I am sorry, I am sorry, it should be option 3, it should be option 3, it should be option 3, yes, option 3. So that is the detailed discussion, the answer is option 3 and it is wrong and uh, is there is a topo topographic error here and uh, this is option 3. Let us move to the next question. This question and, and, and this is the last question in this video. This question has appeared in the JEE main exam held on 1st February 2024 in the second shift. The given question is the number of solutions of the equation 4 sin square x minus 4 cos cube x plus 9 minus 4 cos x is equal to 0 where x belongs to the closed interval minus 2 pi pi 2 pi to 2 pi is we are given four options so we are given a trigonometric equation and you have to find out the number of solutions of this quadratic equation in this interval and it is a very simple question let's now discuss the solution of this problem so we have that trigonometric equation, agreed, agreed, that trigonometric equation is here. So for sine square x we have written 1 minus cos square x, right, and we simplify. Then it will be 4 cos cube x plus 4 cos square x plus 4 cos x is equal to 30. That is equal to 9 plus 4, 30. Right. Now, now, cos x minus 1 less than or equal to cos x less than or equal to 1 for all x belongs to the set of real numbers. That means the least value of cos x is minus 1. Let us say cos x takes the least value. It will be minus 4 plus 4 minus 4. When you sum it up, it is minus 4. Let us say cos x takes the this value 1, the la, highest value. Then it will be 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12. That means uh, this LHX, LHS, the value of this LHS will belong to the closed interval minus 4 to 12 for all values of x belongs to R. That means uh, for all values of x belongs to R, the highest value it can attain is 12. So it will never attain 13. So from this what do you conclude? That 4 cos cube x plus 4 cos square x plus 4 cos x is equal to 13 is not possible for any value of x belongs to R. For no x belongs to R this is true. So that means uh, that means uh, the given equation the given equation 
has no solutions on the entire real number line. No solutions in R at all. Therefore, no solution, no solutions in this finite interval minus 2 pi 2, 2 pi. So therefore, the number of solutions of the given equation in this interval minus 2 pi to 2 pi is 0. Therefore, the answer to this question is option 3. Right. Option 3. So, that is the detailed discussion of the solution of this problem. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this. And in this, 5 questions Four questions we have solved, five questions were there, one of them we have already done it and this uh, I am sure that you have understood the all the solutions of these four questions under the section trigonometric equations. And I wish you all the best. Thank you.